Hi, uh, in this session, I'm going to show you uh, how to upload an image uh, from your Blit template uh, using Laravel 5.3. Uh, so I have created a new migration over here and um, the f column name is called category image and it's, it has been inserted uh, after the description um, column. So I have already created this. If you are following this tutorials and you, if you have not created this, then please uh, create a category image column in your categories table. So the next step is um, to add the field into your create and edit blade template. So uh, I'm just going to add a BR over here. And uh, next I'm going to add a um, form tag. So form, sorry, uh, the form element of Laravel collect collective package. So I'm going to say label and uh, this is going to be a category image. And the uh, next is form. It's going to be a file and I'm going to name this category image. Uh, one more thing uh, we have to add over here is um, uh, files is equal to files true. Uh, since we are accepting files into our form, so this has to be added. Files true. Next, uh, in our store method, we have to uh, get the files. So I'm going to um, add a section over here that will accept the files. So get images, get image. So in this case, it's just an image. Now I'm going to create a new folder to put my images uh, into my public directory. So I'm going to say uh, new folder and I'm going to name it uploads. Um, uploads folder is created. So that is going to my that that is going to be my destination path. Is equal to uploads. And next, um, I'm going to uh, get the file from the form. So file, I have renamed, uh, I have named it to category image, so it should be input. And file, category image. Next, I'm going to set some rules to it. Um, uh, since uh, I, I want this to f this file to be uploaded, so file uh, I'm, I'm going to set some rules. So rules array file required. Next, um, let's add the validator class over here. So validator is equal to validator make and then I'm passing an array of my file file dollar file and I'm passing the rules that are required Next, um, I'm, I have to check if uh, my validator passes. So I have to say validator passes, then open and close uh, brackets. And um, if, if everything is fine, if the file is uploaded, then I have to get the file name of the file so 
I have a function over here uh, that's available to us by default uh, by the file class. So by the input file uh, class. So the function is get client original name. Make sure it's, it's a camel case function name. So make sure you spell that correctly. So once we have the file, um, we can upload it. We can upload the file. So we have another uh, function move on the file. So file move um, to destination path. And uh, we pass the file name. Now next, um, this is going to uh, set my file name and this is going to move the file name to the destination path. Now um, I want to check if file name is, uh, is not equal to null. Uh, before that, I want to set a file name over here. So file name is going to be empty. And uh, I want to check if file name not equal to empty. Then I'm setting a category, category image equal to file name. Else Category, category image is going to be empty string. And then um, I can save, I can save it. I can save my category using the category save command. Sorry. I think that should do it. Um, let's go and check on the front end. Let's try to create a new category over here. Uh, we have a pass it on 85, on 85. It's over here. Hopefully we should be able to upload uh, uh, image now. So test image, what is that the visibility to do? Yes. And I'm going to upload an uh, image over here, which I have. Uh, let's see if an image is uh, uploaded. doesn't look like our image has been uploaded. Uh, let's check why. So the error is uh, over here. Uh, so uh, it should have been files. Um, it took me a while to uh, figure out that error. Uh, sorry about that. Um, uh, then uh, I think uh, after that uh, we should be able to um, able to upload uh, the image. I'm going to set this to test. Uh, let's try the same image and um, let's check. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we have uh, uploaded the PNG image over here. Uh, next, um, um, we'll have to display it over here. So um, uh, just um, just uh, to uh, let the user know that they have an uploaded uh, image. Uh, so to do that, uh, let's just copy it, uh, the same code uh, onto our edit page. And 
let's uh, display the existing image over here. So to do that, uh, uh, it the, uh, we'll have to use a if command over if uh, control structure. So category if category category image not equal to empty and let's end this if and if and let's say image so uploads slash uh, let's use the same and let's set the um, width to say 100 px let's check it the front end there you go we have uploaded image over here and if the user wants to upload another image they can uh, uh, use this input field and um, uh, use the same code in the update uh, method um, I will um, after this video I'm going to uh, write a small function uh, to upload an image so that we don't have to uh, we don't have to repeat the same code again um, uh, it's pretty much the same uh, code that we will be using uh, so feel free to uh, write the code yourself uh, in that way you you will um, uh, you will know how much you have understood from this tutorial uh, in this video that's it for now uh, and um, I will see you in the next video thank you for watching